at least cover part of it. So there are in general three challenges when you want to do semantic segmentation. One is the one that we talked about. After your convolutions, you're gonna end up with a reduced resolution. The other problem we noticed it in the failure results that the first paper was reporting, that there were objects at multiple scales. Some of them very uh, small, some of them very big, and it's another challenge. And the other one is the localization accuracy. And we saw that in UNET, you have to introduce these distance functions to weight your pixel. And that's happening because of your neural network being, actually convolutional neural networks are invariant to shifts and, uh, and they're locally translation invariant because of the max pooling operation. So to deal with the resolution, we can actually start working with address convolutions. So what is that and why is it important? It's gonna help us reduce the degree of our down sampling from 32 to eight. How does it actually do it? If you want to do your original down sampling, and this is your image, if you down sample, and remember down sampling is because of stripe. It's not because of max pooling, it's not because of convolution, it's because of your stripe. So if you stripe by two, that's gonna be half the resolution of the original image. If you do a convolution with a kernel of seven, that's your kernel, and it's just a random kernel for visualization purposes or illustration purposes, then you convolve this kernel with that image, you're gonna end up with a bunch of features. And if you upsample this, you're gonna see that your information is lost at these points. So it's not smooth. What you can do is you take that image and you introduce some zeros in your filter. And that's why it's called atrus convolution. That's a French word and it stands for holes. You're introducing holes in your filter. You take that and the rate at which you are introducing holes is two. You do your atrus convolution with a stride of one and then you're gonna lose less information. And that's how you're gonna end up with your down sampling rather than being 32, it's gonna be eight because we are gonna do it multiple times. But what is the exact formula for the atrus convolution? It's not complicated. You have your pixel, this is your pixel, and then you're gonna skip two pixels, and then you skip two other pixels, and then you do the same thing for going down. You skip two pixels, two pixels, and then you're covering a larger window of your original image, and that's gonna be what is getting multiplied by your kernel. And that R is gonna be your rate parameter. So what is nice is that you're gonna have the same number of parameters and the same computation for an actress convolution. I guess we are out of time. We are gonna continue this next session. And for those of you who have questions, you can stay and ask. And the ones who have classes and have other meetings, they can leave. Any questions? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. That's so cool to, to do, because I used UNET for work a little bit ago and didn't understand it as in-depth as like now because of all the background we have. So that's, that's cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. I wish I knew about the, the distance functions. I wonder if I would have gotten better results. Uh, and what was the application? It was for a spot segmentation of spines in, in x-rays. Yeah, so it was really close. Yeah. To that paper, yeah. Yeah, so that's why I think it worked well. That, that domain, it seems to work really well on, on these mostly black images, you know, with not much. And data augmentation is really important. Yeah, for me, because of it was a robotic surgery and there was requirements on how the image was taken. So the scale wasn't as, or the, yeah, the translation wasn't as important for me because they were always relatively centered, but the rotation, yeah, was key because it could be, you know, any sort of degree. Yeah, I see. Yeah, but cool. It's cool to like, yeah, see it again. Awesome. awesome. Take care. Yeah, you too. Bye.